Well, we wanted to end our conversation with your views for the future, especially regarding the Brazilian scenario. Um, the legal disagreements about the legality of the blockades, of WhatsApp blockades, have become a constitutional issue in Brazil. Uh, there are two constitutional complaints challenging the constitutionality of such measures before our Brazilian uh, Federal Supreme Court. Within the legislative powers, uh, 11 draft bills were so far presented to the National Congress about website and applications blockings that deal with the question in different ways, either by prohibiting blockades in any circumstances or by regulating it in specific uh, cases. Well, all of them share the presumptions that the approval of only one law will be able to deal with the complexity uh, that involves the issue of blocking, even though the circumstances of each case, their motives and legal grounds are quite different. Considering Brazil's pioneering role in addressing these issues, what are the impacts that the unfolding of the discussions might have in other Latin American countries? Um, how do you see the future of these tensions and are there any ways we can move forward? Mm -hmm. I, I think the first thing to consider is that shutdowns of websites and services violate human rights. And one of the things that we need to think about is that maybe shutdowns aren't the way to deal with some of the issues that need to be dealt with. Um, that there are other paths to do this. Um, shutdowns tend to be fairly easy but they also tend to be very broad um, and impact a lot of users and a lot of legitimate speech. Um, and so if you pass a law on this issue other than a prohibition, um, what you're doing is even if it provides some standards, is you're blessing the practice um, across, the, across, the, um, across the board. And that can really be um, a slippery slope toward undermining human rights and allowing for um, a lot of legitimate content to be shut down. Um, I do think Brazil has shown a lot of leadership in the world of digital rights globally. Um, the Marco Seville was revolutionary um, in, in applying traditional human rights um, in the digital world. And so I think there's a lot of space here for Brazil to continue that lead um, and, to, and to prohibit this type of blocking. Um, you know, right now with the WhatsApp, one of the greater, greatest um, invaders, um, one of the people who are, one of the countries that is most notorious for blocking is Turkey, um, which has shut down Twitter on several occasions and prevented that speech from taking place. Um, I would argue that, that Brazil is competing with its shutdowns of WhatsApp and trying to, to elbow in on the sheer number of times a single service can be shut down. Um, I think that that is bad for users across the board um, as well. And so maybe the, it is not something that we should be blessing with a law um, as much as clarifying that it is prohibited under current law. Um, there is a, an argument that the Constitution does not allow for full services to be shut down, only pieces of them um, under the, under the um, Article 12 provision. And I think that is a, it is a legally merited argument, um, and I think moving in that direction might be a positive way to go. Thank you.